Hello my friends. I am so excited today. Today is the day that my sister-in-law and I go to the Myrtle Plantation. I am so freaking pumped. This is in St. Francisville, Louisiana. If you have not heard it about it, please look it up. If you love haunted houses, if you love tales of haunted houses and of ghosts and all that good stuff, you gotta read and watch about the Myrtle Plantation. So I'm gonna do as much as I can to include you guys on this ghost adventure that I'm going on tonight, basically. Um, we are gonna be leaving in a couple of hours and um, I'm gonna try to take pictures there and maybe take some video if I can and put that all together and show you guys tomorrow. I'm really pumped about it. Um, but what I wanted to come to you guys with today is that shot. Let me try to start. Here's it. Head of it. What I wanted to come to you guys today with is the shadow self conversation spread that I talked about in my last video. Um, I did this spread with um, my herbiary oracle cards that came in the book here, the herbiary, and my druid craft tarot. I was surprised at the amazing combination of these two decks. I always love to hear when people enjoy putting two tarots together or a tarot and an oracle together and they work really well. I love to hear people talk about that and when I did this combination I was blown away at how well they work together. So I wanted to share that with you and this awesome self, uh, shadow self conversation. Um, it is a 10 card spread. I did not create this spread. I've been having it around for a few years now and I never did it until the other night. Um, I'm going to either try to find where I found it originally and put a link to it below. If I can't, then I'll write it out and I will have the spread at the bottom. Um, so you guys can do it if you'd like. Okay. Are you ready? I'm so ready to share this with you. So I do have my notes. Um, when I do a big spread or like something that's in depth, I like to keep a record of that and, and um, put down my thoughts and ideas. And so um, I have this just in case I wanna like dive into um, my thoughts at the time and just kind of go over the spread with you guys. So first question, who are you? And I got, if you don't like, nudity look away there is a penis that is about to come into the screen <laughs> i got the hanged man and we are one the quaking aspen oh can you see it it looks a little blurry anyway this is what i got so right away i thought wow <laughs> I feel like this part of my shadow self is kind of like right out there, right? Um, this me that feels tied up and stuck and um, kind of like always in that background, that fear, that um, inability to move even though I may have put myself there um, is kind of what's coming through here. And the we are one kind of, kind of shook me a little bit as to say like I carry this this shadow self around and it walks beside me it never goes away it's something that's constantly with me this isn't a shadow that appears sometimes this is one that's right by my side all the time um, so that was pretty dynamic number two what do you need to tell me and I got the Two of Cups and Red Clover, Center and Ground. And for this one, <laughs> uh, I thought it was very valid, especially considering the Hanged Man and, and having this, this shadow self that, that's constantly with me, right? Not those, those ones that kind of come and go. I felt that it was pretty important that it popped up with the Two of Cups, which is usually like a lover's card. But for me, it meant more about the connection. Like maybe I need to embrace 
and truly pay attention to this part of my shadow self. Um, I have a lot of trouble staying grounded and I feel like having that connection and being more grounded and more present and paying closer attention to what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, um, is a big deal. And what this shadow self is trying to tell me that the reason it hangs around it and is constantly with me is because I'm not getting grounded and I'm not paying attention to the connections that are there when these events occur throughout the day, right? So I thought that that was pretty dynamic as well. I just loved everything that came up. Everything has been super valid. Everything has been super connected. You know what I mean? Like it, it really does tell the story. Um, what have I been missing? I got the seven of wands and create space raspberries. Now for this, I feel like, what have I been missing? I've been missing the fact that I have the high ground in this. If I were to pay attention, if I were to connect and stay grounded and present in my moment and not constantly slip in to this shadow self, that I could see a lot more clearly, that I could create a space that would show me how to overcome and how to work to accomplish the goals that I have and not allow myself to be pulled back into the shadow and create more complications for myself. So I feel like what have I been missing? I've been missing the fact that this is something that can be overcome. This is not something that I have to walk beside my entire life um, powerless with. Four, how have I been ignoring you? I got the three of pentacles and white willow, the ways of the water. And I feel like this is speaking to the armor that I have created, right? Um, again, stagnancy is a big deal for me. I have a lot of trouble um, with routine, but I also have equally as much trouble with the inability to act in some ways. So it's a very big like tearing apart of my whole personality where like I want to act but talk myself out of it. But at the same time, I hate to have that routine. I hate to be stuck. I hate to think that I'm gonna have to do the same thing over and over and over again, day after day after day. So um, by ignoring this shadow self, pretending that it's not there and pretending to be powerless over it instead of seeing what I'm supposed to be seeing, um, I've been building this armor, right? Um, what I need to be doing is learning how to go with this flow learning how to call upon others and call upon this shadow side of myself to work me through it, to continue on my way, to break down this stagnancy and armor and um, move forward with it, to use it as a guide, this shadow part of myself versus an enemy. Number five, um, what do you need from me? And I have rebirth. There's my little hair. And between dreams, mugwort. And, you know, with this, I really felt like it was asking for me to be willing to change. To be willing to drop everything that I believed in. Everything that I feel like is the only truth. Um, I feel like it's asking me to drop that. I need to be willing to be reborn, to come out fresh slate, throw the old beliefs away, throw my old way of thinking away, and to come out fresh 
and new. Um, I feel like it's also asking me to pay attention to what I'm dreaming about. Pay attention to that in-between time. Pay attention to my intuition. I need to be open and willing in every way, shape, and form in order to um, progress. Okay, number six. At what phase of my life were you born? And I have the Queen of Wands and cyclicality. I hate saying that word because I always feel like I say it like wrong. Cyclicality, um, which is elderberry. And I feel like what this is telling me is that um, this is something that's constantly being recycled, you know? Um, what phase of my life were you born? I, it's continuously being born because I'm continuously feeding this fire, right? Um, I feel like the queen of wands is here telling me that the reason that it is being cycled, um, and that it's constantly there with me, um, and something that's been reborn many, many times in my life, this shadow self, um, I feel like she's just trying to tell me that I'm ignoring it. Um, which is why it just keeps reoccurring and growing bigger and bigger because I've never fully dealt with it. So, um, yeah, this has been a long road with this shadow side of myself. Number seven, how did it grow? I got the moon. I love this combo. And passion flower, exuberant quietude. Uh, how did it grow? It grew in the dark. <clears throat> it is a shadow self, you know, like you have to have dark and light um, for a shadow to be there, right? But I feel like um, it grew to be so big in the dark, right? Um, and with this passion flower, this exuberant quietude, you know, it's, it's almost as if when it's, how do I explain? When it's really dark, your mind takes over. There's a constant chatter that pops right in like, oh, it's super quiet. I get to worry about all the things. I get to obsess about all the things. I get to have a shit ton of anxiety and ba -ba 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 That's how it grows. In the dark, in the quiet, your mind switches on and goes and goes and goes. And that's definitely how mine does on the real. It switches on and just starts to gnaw away at all the nasty little things. And I feel like with each time this thing resurfaces, like it says it does, it finds another piece of the dark to kind of like grasp onto and talk around. So how does it grow? By allowing myself to talk a bunch of shit to myself. That's how it grows. Eight, what part, I'm oh, sorry, what lost part of me do you represent? The Prince of Pentacles and Finding Grace, the Star Flower. I like this combination too. I love the way that these work together. And note the two stars here. Um, for what lost part of me do you represent? And for this, I feel like the practical, um, the logical side of me, um, the one that can kind of rein in the emotions and really take a good look around before acting, um, or for, before, um, assuming too much. You know, always willing to stop and listen. That's the lost, lost part of me that this represents. Um, I, I really like to turn it off. You know what I mean? The logical part of myself. Um, and just fly by. You know? And that's really not how to stay grounded. <laughs> no, indeed. So I love this, this serene prince of pentacles here with this finding grace of the star because I feel like uh they embody each other you know so that quiet grace is what is represented 
Number nine, what lesson must I learn? The seven of pentacles, another great combo, and tough love, which is lavender. Um, what lesson must I learn? That I need to cultivate these things. That I can't just say that I want them and then refuse to act upon them. I can't just say that I want to change and then refuse to act. I need to learn that tough love with myself. I need to bring myself to a point where I am listening to what I should be listening to. That I switch off what needs to be switched off. And that I make my decisions in a more calm manner when it comes to... Um, you know, things that I normally am impulsive about or um, convince myself of. And I know when I'm doing it. Like, I'll catch myself halfway and I'll either stop or I'll give in. And we're talking shadow self. I give in a lot. This, this bad boy walks along with me all the time because I'm constantly just like, whatever. You know, I know what it sounds like in my head. You know what I mean? Like, I know when I am manipulating myself, when this shadow part of me is trying to manipulate. Um, and I need to show that tough love. I need to be like, no, I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. I'm not going to start this tomorrow. I'm not going to do that. At the end of the day, if tomorrow is tomorrow is tomorrow, it never really comes. There's always today. Today is, is everything. So uh, tough love and cultivating, you know, it can happen. It's, it's, it's easy to overcome these things and to at least keep it in check. You know, our shadow selves, I feel, never really leave us. We always have these things, but we can put them in check and we can prune them back, if you will. Um, so I need to give myself some tough love. I know. Okay. And 10, how can I better understand myself through you? And I got the Prince of Wands. And again, I love this. Mullen, integration. Is that how you say it? Mullion? I'm not very good at pronouncing things, obviously. I'm constantly having trouble talking. <laughs> But I do love this combination as well um, because I feel like how can I better understand myself through this shadow self? It's by, by acting, by putting in the integration, by molding the things that it's trying to show me and trying to teach me with the things that I know to be true but refuse to act upon. So I feel like I can better understand myself by actually pursuing this and showing that tough love where it needs to come in, listening when I need to figure things out and slowing down and finding that grace. You know what I mean? So Prince of Wands and integration for how I can understand myself better through the shadow side. But I also put uh, an, a little lanyap card because I always like to do that. Um, and which is a, I just consider like an overview. Like what is the main thing because they, I mean we go over so much in this spread right so I like to put an overview of like the main energy summary short story <laughs> what is the overview of this shadow self conversation and I got the eight of pentacles and again the perfect combination perseverance the dandelion I mean work through it girl work through it but it has to be work sometimes right I can't just know that it's there but ignore what I'm supposed to be doing to to help heal some part of this shadow self and the perseverance I mean dandelion you can't ask for better I mean it can be it can grow through concrete <laughs> just a little bitty sliver of sunlight and boop it'll pop right out of even concrete you know um, it can withstand just about anything. And, and I think that's what it's basically saying. With this shadow self, it takes work. It takes perseverance that if I put in the effort, 
I can heal certain parts and I can work with this shadow part of myself to make myself better. So I hope you enjoyed this. The combination of these two were amazing to me. I just love how the Druid craft worked with the Herbiary Terra, um, Oracle. It was just like a breath of fresh air. Like I, it just felt like a full solid message came out. So again, I will put this spread below if you're interested in doing it. I definitely recommend it. I, I, I mean, I took a ton of notes. Um, it gave me so much to meditate on. I'm still going through this over and over again to try to um, pinpoint um, this shadow self that comes up during the day. And I just thought it was a really great way to dive in a little bit deeper. So again, thank you for watching. I really love that you guys come and join me whenever I post my videos. Um, I try to do them at least once a week. Sometimes I just go crazy and do them, uh, do a whole bunch. Um, but I'm at least trying to post once a week. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to come back and join me for our conversations. And um, as always, much love to you guys. Bye.